Hey everybody, it's Syndigrator. This is a question and answer video. Uh, occasionally I'll get a question that just can't be answered easily with a comment or a private message. Um, so in this case, uh, I'm going to make a video and I'll put this in a little playlist called question and answers. So that'll be cool. This is a Juno 106 question and it has to do with the module board, uh, specifically for calibration. Now when you calibrate, uh, your module board to set up all the voice chips. Remember one, two, three, four, five, six. These are the filter chips. Now they're not there right now. Not in this board. This board just has sockets. So the filter chips are out, just so you know. And each of those filter chips is a filter, uh, the VCF and the VCA, uh, basically the working parts of that voice. So they need to be calibrated in order for them all to be smooth and clean and properly tuned and the volumes all even. And that's the reason why we do the calibration. And as you can see, there are just scads of little tiny tuners, little micro pots, basically. Those are trimmers, and those trimmers uh, turn with a screwdriver, and that adjusts the various levels. And uh, it's a complicated procedure. It takes a while, but it's not too difficult if you know what you're doing. Anyway, you need these test points. This is where you connect your, your scope to. Here's the analog ground over here. There's an AG analog ground test point, and then you connect to the various with your with your scope probe, and then you take a look on the screen of your scope, and you see what waveforms there are, and you adjust things accordingly based on what the manual tells you to do. Now, I've talked a bit about this, and on to the question. The question has to do with what if you have an older module board, and the older module board, as you can see, only has the one. Uh, blocks 8 to 13. It doesn't have the secondary blocks that you see here on the newer module board. Now you'll know that you have an older module board if your Juno has one of these metal pole switches. That's a general rule of thumb. I'm not sure when they switched over from the, the pole switch, but I found that if there's a pole switch, odds are it's going to have a, an older board, module board inside. Now, um, let's take a look here at what the service manual has to say about it. Here are the test points, and then it says, not provided on early PCBs, connect to the hot terminal of trimmers defined as TP14 and 19 to 19. So here in the service manual, it actually does refer to those test points. See that? It's TP3, and then look, TP14 to 19. There's TP14 right there. And you'll see it's basically a whole row of trimmers all along. So let's have a look at that on the board itself. And basically it's these guys in the middle. These ones here. So this is for voice 1, voice 2, voice 3, voice 4, voice 5, and voice 6 is just tucked in there underneath. Now what I've got going on here is I have my scope hooked up and uh, the question was it says the hot terminal and I don't know what the hot terminal is. Well, um, here's the answer. The hot terminal is if you take a look at these guys, all of these trimmers, they have three legs. One, two, and then three. The hot terminal is the single one by itself. So uh, I originally was going to talk about how to wire up your own test points, but you really don't need to. Um, First thing you do have to make sure is you've powered up your unit in test mode and you have to make sure that you are running test program number three in test mode. If you don't have that going on, you're, nothing's going to make sense. Um, and in test mode three, then you press C4 uh, once. And uh, having done that, okay, let's do it like that. Having done that, we then take the scope probe and we put it up against the hot. Okay? And take a look here. You get a waveform. And that is the waveform for voice number one because I'm uh, doing the hot on VR27. VR27, uh, and of course VR27 being referred to as test point 19. And it works backwards, back to test point 14 for voices one, two, three, four, five, and six. So realistically, it's not. It's not rocket science, and it's really not tricky. You just connect up to this hot leg here, and the hot leg is, is fairly long and wide. It isn't going to be the kind of thing you can clip to easily. So, you know, if you have a clip probe like this, let me see if I can hook that in. Oh, no, look, see? There, that's hooked in. 
and uh, here is the waveform here. So now that that is hooked in, you can then modify your uh, trimmer, and away you go. So this is it. It's that simple. Start here with the voice number one, and then two, three, four, five, six, and just remember, they're all oriented the same way, so it's the terminal on the top that you want to connect to, and those are your test points basically for this this part, which is the VCF resonance. Okay, that's, that's um, the VCF resonance is the one that requires those guys. And then after that, I think it's all just back to the other test points. So you, you're really kind of lucky. You only have to do this for one of the tests. Um, isn't that right? Yeah, I'm looking here. I don't actually see those points used for any other test other than BCF resonance. Okay then, so that sorts that out. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. And uh, this is Centigrader, signing off.